Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to send all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makar Kadash, Barakadah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect individual. This is your boy Azar coming at you with another GMS lesson from the Miami, from the Miami camp. Today I want to talk about faith and confidence. Faith and confidence. Now let's look at the word faith. Faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Okay? Complete confidence in someone or something. Alright? Now who do we have faith in? We have faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Now we first have faith in the Son because we cannot get to the Father unless we get to the Son. All right, so we definitely got to have faith in the Son and that uh, believe that the Son, who whom is Yahweh Shai, is the Deliverer, because that's what His name mean means. He delivers. Okay. Now let's look at. Uh, I got a precept here. Uh, Hebrew, eleven chapter first verse. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, in order to have confidence, we have faith. We first have to have faith. Now, if you want to go back to the first thing you should have when you get into truth, you need to have fear first, then faith, then confidence. Okay? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of our wisdom. I forgot what Bible verse that was. But through that fear, you know, we begin to have faith. You know, we begin to have faith. And, you know, faith, it, faith is accumulated. You know, faith is accumulated. It's something that we kind of have to pray for. Um, We can have faith by seeing other uh, uh, by seeing other things be done by the Most High, or you know, we see we are faithful through um, through Yahweh Shah because we see uh, His grace in men. Um, you know, uh, there there are many ways your faith can be built up. Okay, but Hebrews eleven and one kind of sums it out. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Okay? Now, perfect example is the wind. Just because you don't see the wind doesn't mean it's not there. Because you can feel the wind. And, you know, even if you uh, are in a car with the windows rolled up, if you see the, the trees swerve side to side you see the grass sur swerve side to side weeds swerve side to side that's something telling you that the wind is is blowing because you actually see it even a blind person can tell when the wind is blowing because because they can feel it they can hear it even if you're deaf you can still feel it if you're blind and you're deaf you can still feel the wind you don't have to see the wind. The only thing you have to do is uh, feel it. Okay? That's the only thing you have to do is just feel it. And that's what kind of, that's what faith is, you know? You feel the faith. You, you're just so confident that it's there. You know, it's like no one can tell you it's not there. In this case, we're talking about Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We know, even though we have not seen Yahweh Shai, you know, we have not, we felt his presence because, you know what, he left us the comforter uh, when he went into the spiritual world. He left us that comforter. That comforter is like the wind. We feel it, but we don't see it. Now, we may see it work through other men sometimes or, you know, but for the most part, we just feel it. We feel it. Okay, um, now let's look up confidence. Conscientious of, of feeling sure. Assurance. Okay, 
Now, let's look up a precept that talks about uh, confidence. I actually, I have two of them. This is the book of 1 John, 5th chapter 14, verse. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that it was in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Okay? He heareth us. Now, in order for you to have faith, I mean, confidence, you got to have faith. You know? You got to have faith. When you build up enough faith, then you have that confidence. You know? Because, remember, without faith, faith, it is impossible to please Him. What comes before faith? Wisdom. Fear. So when you fear the Most High, that's gaining wisdom. When you gain wisdom, you gain faith. When you gain faith, you gain confidence. Because confidence is really something that's um, something that you really have experience with. I looked it up in the dictionary. Um, so if you have confidence in something, like you have confidence you can fix a car, you have confidence you can... Uh, play basketball, you, you're confident that you can beat uh, another competitive team, you're confident that you can drive a car, you're confident in, in driving a five-speed. Basically, confidence deals with things that you're already familiar with. So since you're already familiar with faith, then it's going not going to really be a hassle for you to have confidence in the Most High. Now, some people may say, well, confidence and faith is the same thing. But no, because look, according to the word, faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence for things not seen. Now, if you have never, haven't really seen anything before or you're about to do something like play ball or, or a new sport, if you've never seen that sport before, how can you be, how can you be confident about what to do in that sport if you were to participate in it? Now, you can have faith that you can learn the sport, then gain the confidence to do it. But, um, nah, man, you got to have faith first before you have confidence when it comes to this truth. Okay? It's like learning the Hebrew. You know, you have faith, you can learn it. After you gain, gain the faith, learn it. Then you have the confidence to uh, teach other brothers, you know? All right, let's go to another precept, Ephesians 3 and 12. In whom we have confidence by faith of him. Okay. Um, in whom we have confidence by faith. So, yeah, you got to have confidence. But the only, the only way you can get that confidence is through faith. Okay. Because once you get that faith, okay, you like, okay, I can I can walk this walk. I can do it. And then once you gain experience in, in uh, certain areas of this truth, like quoting scriptures, learning Hebrew, learning prayers, teaching other brothers, then you have more confidence in yourself to do the work. You know? And being that you're confident in the faith, you know, you may boost up another brother's faith, faith that's uh, just getting into this truth. You know? Okay, let's look at the book of Hebrews. Uh, 11 chapter 6 verse. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is. When it says he is, he exists. Okay, so that's talking about the name of Yahweh. That he is and that he is the rewarder that diligently seek him. So you got to know. So if you know he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him, you got to know he can punish you too. Okay? He is. He exists. Yahweh, he exists. All right? So, uh, hey, man, remember, without faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, and on the the only time you can gain confidence is by gaining faith. When you gain faith, you gain confidence. And that's when you can really, 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 really uh, help build up this kingdom, man. You know? 
All right, this is your boy Azar signing off. Till next time, Shalom.